hopefully the glare of my glasses is not too much. I usually don't film with glasses on, but today's a work day. There's a lot of work, as you can tell, that needs to be done behind me. Um, I'm going to be decluttering and um, decreasing <laughs> my amount of homeschool things. Um, well, homeschool curriculum specifically. I am planning on going from four bins to two bins um, because, as everybody knows, we are moving. And so the least amount of things that we have to move, the better. Um, but decluttering homeschool stuff is very hard for me because I always think to myself, oh, I could use this for an, a child that's coming up, you know? And I like to have a very eclectic array of different curriculum that I can use for my kids. But when it comes to moving, I can't, you know, unnecessarily lug all this curriculum with me. So I, I have a ton of books, but I'm not getting rid of my books. So we're not gonna go through the book bins that you see, but we're gonna go through the curriculum and see <laughs> Okay, there's no guarantee, okay? So there's four bins in here. There's no guarantee that I can go from four to two, but I'm gonna try my hardest. I'm gonna try my absolute hardest. I'm going to be making a keep for sure pile, a maybe pile, and a get rid of, okay? Um, and then from there, I'll decide what I'm gonna do with the maybe pile. Hey girly, my name is Wendy and I am a homeschooling stay-at-home mom of four little ones. And on this channel, I talk about biblical parenting, biblical homemaking, biblical um, homeschooling, um, biblical marriage, and um, biblical womanhood. Uh, thank you for being here. I hope you subscribe. Let's start the decluttering. Hey girly, my name is Wendy and I am a homeschooling, homemaking, stay at home mom of four little ones and on this channel I talk about homeschooling and my biblical journey as a homeschooling, homemaking mama. So I hope you subscribe and stick around. Before we start, I wanted to say that this is a collaboration with three of my really good friends. Um, they're, all their information will be linked in the description for you to check out the playlist. Some of us are actually decluttering. Some of us are just talking about um, some decluttering tips when it comes to your homeschooling and how to keep the clutter down um, and everything in between. So definitely check it out, especially if you feel like the homeschool clutter is getting to be too much. Um, definitely check out this playlist. It will be amazing. All right, so in here, guys, excuse my packing. I packed everything very quickly so that I can get my home ready to show. And so it's not packed pretty. Um, I'm actually going to be taking out all my books that I have and putting them in, in um, cardboard boxes and smaller boxes because this is like ridiculously heavy. So I'm not going to be keeping it in here, but I, this is my books bin and this is for um this is for these are like my books really I mean there's a couple of kids books in here but like these are pretty much um my books um and then I have so that's there's actually seven bins in here but um like I said three of them are books bins that I'm not going to be going through and this is one of the ones that I'm not going to be going through so I'm going to close this up um over here we got just a bin full of things that were inside of the playroom and so i'm gonna go through this but i am most likely yeah i'm gonna be getting rid of a lot of stuff from here so but that's not what we're talking about today so just wanted to show you guys the ones that we're not doing um and no we are doing these and this is my book spin. Guys, oh, there's so many books in here. Okay, so this, like I said, I'm keeping all my books. Um, we, hold on. We love having a ton of books for our children to have immediate access to. Um, we find that, that 
if it's in the home, they gravitate towards it. So we try to have a lot of books um, in our home for them to gravitate towards. It's one of the things that my husband, that is very important to my husband um, because it's not something that he had when he was growing up. And um, he really sees a value in having books in the home um, for our children and a variety of books for them. And so we're not getting rid of the books. I just wanted to make that clear. <laughs> you know what? I tried, I tried. I was gonna go through and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna see which books I can declutter. I opened it on and I'm like, no, I can't take, I can't get rid of any of these. So anyways, let's go to the curriculum. All right, so in here is a bunch of curriculum that we're gonna go through. Here is a bunch of curriculum. So that's one, two, um, here is a bunch of curriculum and my childhood pictures. So I don't know what this is doing here, but we'll move that. If you want to see what Wendy looked like as a baby, that's me. <laughs> my childhood pictures. Okay, so we'll put that over here. That's not part of the curriculum. And then here is um, some, there are a couple of books in here that we're going to be keeping, but there is curriculum down in the bottom as well so we're going to be going through that as well and then over here is a bin of curriculum so to get these four down to two i i i, I think i could do it especially if i packed better and then i could pack more in it <laughs> just kidding <laughs> So I am like just really torn and overwhelmed right now. <laughs> I just emptied the book and I'm looking at these things like right now I don't have a child in primer. So right. So for sure, this is my keep pile, which I'll go through in a minute. This is my baby, maybe pile and I'm having a really hard time with my maybe pile. Like I'm just being real and being honest. I'm having a really hard time because these are good things. And the thing is, no matter what you have, it's going to be good, you know, like that's why you kept it like like these brain quest books i love these brain quest books they are brand new i've got like so many of them they're brand new the issue is i homeschool year round so i bought them for like maybe the summer or extra practice and stuff like that but because i homeschool year round we never really need the extra practice or have the opportunity to utilize these books and so i just have them here these can you find me books i love them they are so much fun you know what i'm probably going to keep these for the two younger ones but i love them they are so much fun and the little kids really love them you know um and they have to figure out based off of the poem they have to figure out which picture it is like which picture you're talking about and stuff like that and so i have one that's for kindergarten to first grade and i have one that's for pre-k so i'm going to keep these because I can do these with my little ones. Um, there's just a lot and I am like the community helpers. I think I'm going to keep that. I'm not a big Abeka fan. I did Abeka with my kindergartner. So I have still have a lot of their ref resources, but I want to do something next year with my kindergartner um, talking about more social studies community helpers aspect so because i never used it with my kindergartner when he was younger so now i'm gonna use it with my kindergartner now so this is like the type of stuff that i like i'm that is going through my mind like if i plan to use it then i need to keep it you know but then i wanted to use it with my third grader now and i never used it with her you know so it's like what's the chance that i'm actually going to use it with my kindergartner and so I'm just having a very difficult time weeding through all these things and figuring out what to keep and what not to keep. Like I've got a lot of these like logic books, like lollipop logics, which I used to have my little, my kid, my two older ones do. I have used to have them do logic every single day. Um, and I love 
logic practice for them. The reason why it's not colored because I made copies or the reason why it's not written on is because I made copies. Um, but I used to love doing logic with them and letting them do little logic puzzles to begin our day and stuff like that, which we strayed from. But now I'm thinking I want to go back to it. So it's like, do I get rid of this or do I keep it? Like I'm having a really hard time getting rid of stuff. So don't think just because I'm talking about this, it's easy. It's really not. Like, look at this. This is brand new. It's the brand spanking new, the human body from the good and the beautiful. But the thing is, the the what we're doing this year is God's design. And God's design, we're doing the human body. And so it's like, do I keep this or do I get rid of it since we're already doing a different curriculum talking about the human body? <sighs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> All right. So yes, it's a complete disaster because my kids got up and started playing while I was over here, but it's okay. Let's focus on the positive. I'm so excited. Okay. So this is one of the bins. As you can tell, it's like completely empty. There's just like a couple of odds and ends, kids toys, a bird feeder, and some sand. All right. I think he's fine. All right. Nobody died. And some <laughs> and some okay sorry i had to go handle that okay so um and some sand but this is pretty much empty so one bin completely empty yes what i discovered while cleaning out the bins was that there's a there was a lot of like um my father's world books that were in the homeschool bin so that automatically goes to my book section I'm going to be taking all of the books and packing them into smaller um, containers because it's just too big to have a 15 gallon um, container full of books. So I'm going to be packing it into smaller wood boxes. I'm sorry, not wood boxes, cardboard boxes. So I'm going to be packing this into small cardboard boxes so that's easier to transport. But my book packing is a whole nother story for a whole nother day. If you'd like to see a video on me packing the books and how I plan on doing it and organizing it and stuff, let me know. But that's a whole nother video for a whole nother day. So I just wanted to explain why my book box is now overflowing. Now, over here is one of the boxes of things that I've decided to keep. But the thing is, it's a small amount of things. Like it's not that much at all. And it can actually fit in here. And um, I'm going to take everything out and show you guys what I decided to keep. And then you'll see how I like I packed everything all up into one box. But I say all that to say that I ended up going from four boxes to one box. This box right here is all things that I am donating and um, getting rid of. And I'm gonna let you guys know how you can actually get some of these things, but I'll show you what's in here as well. All right, so with all that decluttering success from the bins, I decided to go underneath my island and clear out underneath the island with any curriculum that I have left in there that I am not currently using. Okay, so over here, we've got all science. And it's like nature studies and these are like some engineering books and project books that I picked up that my husband loves to do with the kids and just like a bunch of our um, encyclopedias and stuff. So we've got natural disasters and oceans and the new children's encyclopedia and different things like that. Um, Amazing Africa and just all of like our research study type books. Over here is just like miscellaneous stuff. So like handwriting, painting things, um, a lot of handwriting practice. Underneath here we have the piano practice that we do on our keyboard with piano is easy and things like that. Over here is just history. Now um, for history, I like to have an array of different things just because, yeah, I just don't like getting from one source of history. So I have my My Father's World things in here as well as um, underneath here, you'll see all my story of the world from one to four in here. Um, more more story of the world. I dropped, my, I dropped my map. More story of the world, My Father's World. So 
all history. Over here is different devotionals. So we have Theology, Incredible. I think I have um, the com Duck Commander and Tiny Truths and stuff like that. Over here we have Math. And so all of the math you sees and um, the CLE um, teacher's guides that I'm currently not using. Um, they're all here, the Matthew C. Blocks. Over here is on top, you'll see all of our study guides for the Progeny Press that I have, plus um, some phonics cards from The Good and the Beautiful. Um, and then we get into, hold on before we do that, I have my Fix-It Grammar that I'm gonna be doing with my third grader once she's done with level three of The Good and the Beautiful. And then here we've got all kindergarten stuff. And so for kindergarten, I just like to have an array of stuff because I'm not sure how my learner is going to be learning. So I have some, this is an Abeka um, book, kindergarten social studies book. I'm not really, I really don't like Abeka to be honest, but I've had this since my oldest was in kindergarten and it's really, it's okay to teach social studies. So we're gonna be keeping that. I've got my alpha phonics. This is the this is the teacher's guide of the alpha phonics. I have level K of the good and the beautiful, as well as what your kindergartner needs to know, and uh, spectrum math, an extra one that I had, social studies. That's the social studies for Rebecca that I was talking about, and it comes with all these extra stuff and it goes with what we're learning because it has america our great country which is what we're learning about next year so i thought that that would be very age appropriate for my incoming kindergartner now over here hold on let me move this stuff over okay so over here i have all the geography stuff that i decide to keep just like three things of geography um over here, I have our character study things. So I have my We Choose Virtue cards that are in here. And um, these books that I love, God, I need to talk to you about. And they're different things that children may be struggling with. God, I need to talk to you about greed. I have to put that in there. I have um, the Book of, of Virtues by William J. Bennett. And then I have The Moral Compass by William J. Bennett. And then I have the Abera, the Abera, the Abeka character development visuals, um, and then a child's book of character building, and the children's book of virtues. But this is the illustrated version. Down here. I have a whole stack of logic things from Sudoku to crossword puzzles to um, just balance blenders and just lollipop logic, just different logic things that are here. I have um, just something I'd like to do with, with my children in the future. My oldest is still, I think he can start this, but I didn't incorporate it into his school for next year, but maybe the year after. And it is, the Thinking Tree, The Travel History Explorers and Pioneers, and it's a research journal. So pretty much he'll be researching the person and the different things. Um, all about money, business economics from The Thinking Tree, Stuart it yourself homeschool curriculum. So teaching about money, capitalism, bonds, all the things. Um, even talks about income taxes, debt, all those things. Um, and it's for 10 plus, so he's gonna be turning 11, so. I may find a way to incorporate it into our homeschool next year, we'll see. Um, the ABCs of handling money, which we are gonna be doing next year. So, those are the things that I'm keeping, and I'll show you how I fit them in this bin just to show you that they can fit in the bin but i am definitely going to be putting them in smaller boxes so that they're easier to move 
All right, guys, I failed. <laughs> this box is completely full, and I still have like maybe a quarter of, mm, yeah, maybe a, a third of a box left. But still pretty good, right? <laughs> All right, so this is what I am getting rid of, which I'm really, really proud. <laughs> okay, so these over here, all these science unit studies, the fix it grammar, first language lessons level three, two, all these histories, some explode the code, all these couple of brain quests and curriculum and complete curriculum guides. All these I am going to be giving away. Um, follow me on Instagram at plan prep pray and um, there will be a post with more details, but just make sure that you follow me, subscribe, no, it's follow. Follow me there to get more details on how you can possibly pick up one of these. I'm gonna be giving them away. Um, all you have to pay for is the shipping. So it'll be about $6, I think, for most US. Oh, and it's only in the US that I'm shipping to. So I hope this blesses somebody. That is the end of the video. Um, it was a huge decluttering project. And like I said, I'm not even done. <laughs> but I am happy to have started, you know? So like I said, if you, wanted to, if you want to see a video talking about the books and how I plan on decluttering and going through the books, let me know. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want a chance to get one of these things that um, I'm donating or giving away. Um, and don't forget to watch the playlist, y'all. Get some decluttering tips and advice and um, don't let clutter take over your homeschool. Um, make sure what you're keeping, you're actually utilizing and you love. Um, what else? That's it. Until next time. Bye.